to my channel my name is Tracy and this is the card we are creating today it's a really simple card it's using products from the best dressed suite in the mini catalog so the supplies needed for today's card are the dress to impress bundle so they are dies this you can purchase together in the bundle and you save yourself 10% so a really great saving I'm using the stitch shape framework dies and I've got the second smallest in the squares. That's just for our little image behind the, the shoes there. The best dressed designer series paper. I love this paper. It's bright, it's fun. One side is florals, the other side is um, perfume and handbags and shoes and really girly things, lipsticks, all that sort of stuff. So that is a really great designer series paper pack to have. Inks, we have Pretty Peacock and Versamark ink. We're also heat embossing, so I have the Whisper White embossing powder and the heat tool. We're using the Coastal Wave, sorry, Coastal Weave 3D folder, and that's just for the background here, um, behind the sentiment. My card kit here is all ready to go, and you can find all the measurements and supplies in um, my blog and you can find the link to that blog post in the description of this video Go over and check that out. There's more photos more information um, Lots more over there. So go and check that out. We also have Petal pink cardstock the designer series paper that layers straight over so really easy card This is blackberry bliss that we're going to run through the embossing folder. We have a piece of pretty peacock to stamp our shoes and then we have our sentiment piece which is old olive so we have pretty peacock blackberry bliss old olive and petal pink which is a really nice color combo isn't it so we're going to start off with just some stamping i'm also going to bring in a piece of scrap paper so we have our shoe stamp here i'm going to stamp two shoes in the pretty peacock ink and we're going to cut those out, die cut those out with the Big Shot machine in just a second. Okay, so our sentiment comes from that stamp set as well. Life is short by the shoes, which is quite a good sentiment for most girls, I feel. Myself, I'm not a big shoe person, so it doesn't really worry me too much, but I love this card. So let's ink that up with the Versamark ink. I'm going to bring the Whisper White embossing powder in. So we can emboss our sentiment. Heat embossing is one of my favourite techniques to do. I do it a lot on most of my cards. So if you're following me, you probably already know. Just really creates a good... just getting rid of any stray powders there. I should have used my embossing powder, my embossing buddy, but I got a little bit lazy. Okay. This is a very small bit of card, so I'm going to bring in some tweezers to hang on to that while I'm heating it up with the heat tool. Heat tool is very, very hot. You can easily burn yourself. Whoop. Sorry, that just moved the camera. Let's go again. So I have the heat tool, I'm just going to melt that powder. So we have pretty much all our elements ready to go. Let's bring the big shot in and we'll do all our die cutting. So we have our two shoes that we're going to die cut. I'm also going to need that whisper white piece to cut out that square. So we're going to run that through twice so we can cut out both shoes.
And while we have the big shot here, we're going to run that embossing folder through. And here we go. Got to make sure it's even. That gives a nice, really deep impression, and you can use either side, so it gives a different pattern on the opposite side. We're going to go with this one. Okay, so we have all our elements ready to go. We're right to start popping everything down. So I'm going to glue my designer series paper to the petal pink card. I'm also going to glue that straight down to the card base. I think that in itself just looks so pretty, doesn't it? We're popping this one up across our card base. So let's bring some dimensionals in for that one. Just placing that one in the middle. The stitch square is straight glued down onto. Actually, we better get the sentiment down first because it goes underneath. So let's glue that down. Each square goes over the top. Now our two little shoes here. I'm going to bring the Winker Stella in. Oh, that's an old one. Let's bring the new one in. And we're just going to colour in the shoe. This gives it so much shine and shimmer. And who doesn't love sparkly shoes? Looks like it should be Cinderella's shoes. So we're going to do that heel as well. Now to get a little bit more of the shimmer down into your pen nib, you've just got to press the sides and brings it down into the barrel. Now one of these is going to be popped up with some dimensionals and I'm going to use the, I think the mini dimensionals for those ones. Sometimes these little backings are hard to get off. <laughs> so we're going to do glue that first shoe down first. It's going to be up the back like that. And this one's going to go right beside it but with the popped up effect.
Now, I'm not sure if I said noble pe peacock rhinestones earlier. They're on the other side of my desk, so I don't think I did say anything about them. But these work, these colours all work really well with this card. So we have pretty peacock and old olive. I'm going to pop that one down here. Petal pink and a large pink one and another pretty peacock. Very cute card. What do you think? I really love this card. I think someone would love getting this one. Okay, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you left me a comment. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do that. Don't forget, all the measurements and supplies can be found over my blog, so you can go over there. Sign up for my newsletter, sign up for the blog posts in the mail as well. That way you're not going to miss anything. Okay, until next time, have a wonderful day and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.